I guess I almost don't have to introduce our next guest, but I'm very happy to do so. Uh, Thomas Espadal is a writer. So now we are going to more writing world. Uh, he debuted in 1988 um, and he publishes both novels and short stories. In 91, he was awarded a prize in the P2 Books Club novel competition for the She and I, Hun Ai. He has been the initiator of the Bergen International Poetry Festival. Uh, he often experiments with various genres and in his later publications, he writes closely about his own life and experience. He published Inter Alia, Elsken, Mit Privatliv, Imot Naturen, Not at Bukenne, Imot Kunsten, Not at Bukenne, Gå eller Kunsten og Leve og Vild og Poetisk Liv, Bref og Forsøk, Dagbuk Epitafier, Biografi, Glemsel. And uh, Thomas is here mostly because of this book, Mit Privatliv, and uh, I think I left completely open what you're going to talk about. So we're just very happy to have you here. And, and thanks a lot for the invitation. Because I'm in, in fact very proud of, of, of this uh, being called a, a photo book and being recognized by pho photographers. Because I'm a writer. And I, I decided quite early that I wanted to, to write. 16 years old, and, and, and why? I was a child of a working class family, and my father had me a job in a factory. I worked very hard, and I, I discovered that if I'm going to do the same as he, I'm, I'm probably going to be a good working man. I, I didn't want to. I thought my, his, my father and my mother and my grandfather and my grandmother and my family had done enough work in, in their life. So I started writing quite early. But then at 18, probably to save me, my mother gave me a camera. I guess the idea was to, that I could do some journalism to combine my, my writing with, with taking photos. It was a very good camera, a, a Canon with film. When I got the camera, I was so excited that I, I went to Venice, took the train to Venice because I've heard of a, it was a, can, a, car, a carnival in, in Venice in February, and it was. And I was, I was happy. I, I met Rudolf Nureyev. He introduced me to some of his friends. So I got very close to to, to uh, some of the most beautiful people in this camera, in this carnival. And I photographed them with this camera from my mother, with film. And when I got home and developed the film, I, 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 I recognized that they were, they were quite good. So I, I, I went to a gallery and asked them if they wanted to exhibit them, and, and they did. And I earned a lot of money, a lot of money. So I thought, okay, I can, I can be a photographer. And that's why I stopped photographing. So I gave my camera away to my girlfriend. I gave my lenses and everything because I really wanted to be a writer. And I knew that if you have some desire in other direction, and if you have some ability, if you are good at playing the piano, if you are good at playing the guitar, then go fuck yourself. You have to be a writer. So I, I, I never had any interest for, for photography at all. <laughs> then a very, very, very special, after publishing 15 books in 30 years, that means that, that I live from, from, from writing. I'm, I'm proud of that too. Every second year I, I publish a book. Then I was, I was, <laughs> I was, I was stupid enough to marry. But, but, and I had a child, and, and but, um, and this is, it was rather sad at the time, but, but she had another child with another man, and then she died. And I, as, normally it's, it's one of the best things that happens to me, that I, I live in houses that are not my own. So I, I moved out to this house, on this isle, outside Bergen, Oske, and I was stuck with this responsibility, with two girls, my daughter and my, my, 
my uh, the other one was also recognized as my daughter uh, after a while. Being used to travel, writing about walking, what should I do? Well, I, I wrote three books in this house during six, six years. It's, 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 it's a gift to have a child in, in a house. Some people think that after you have a child, you, you, you have problems with your professional life. Well, I, I don't care about that. I had two girls. They protected my, my work. I don't know if I had a boy, if it would be the same thing, but, but it, was, it was really the six best years of, of, of my life. People felt sorry for me, they, they, because a man alone with two children, so they, so they, they came to my house and they said, can I help you, can we babysit? And I thought, please, leave, leave us alone. I was, I was completely dedicated to these two beautiful girls. To prefer, I, I, to, I preferred it to, to drinking and, and, and to smoking and, and friends and, and, and to literature and to, to, to girls. I, I really did. But since, since this was a gift, so I had to have a camera again. I, I knew I had to do something except for, for, for writing because it was, I, there, there was this world opening to me. So they had friends. People loved to come to this house. It was a very old house. We had we had didn't have a toilet. There was an outside toilet. I lived really poorly, but the children came. So I was lucky in in Bergen. There is a f Antonio Stasi. He sells old camera, and I said, "Give me a very simple. I, I, I want a simple camera. I want I want something. I don't want I, I don't want a lake or something. I, I want something quick because I, I I want to take photos like this. I I, I don't." Children, I mean, you have to capture them. It's, it's different. Immediately, when you take up a camera, and a child will be... And sometimes that happens. But, but it was a Kunica with a hexa. And, and the second privilege I have was time. Because I didn't think of, of... I was not thinking of making a book. I wrote books, three books. But this... I took a lot of photos. And I could see them develop. <laughs> you could see uh, in the early photos that they are really sad. It's a sad story in, in, in the beginning. Because the, the youngest girl was three years old and, and her, her mother said to me, she died in the house. She, she, would, she would die in the house. And I was thinking, ah, no, nah, no, nah, that's, that's a limit. I won't photograph her. I didn't do that. I should have done it. I didn't do it. But she said, my youngest daughter, Harriet, she will not remember me. And this was the saddest thing. And it's true. She, she, she was three years when, when her mother died, and, and she doesn't remember her mother. So I had to be very careful with, 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 with what I told and, and what I showed. But I, I, I bought this camera, took a lot of, of photos, and it all ends when they are grown up. There were periods in this, this when, when I thought I should give up, and I, I, it, it was really hard living alone with, with, with two girls. But but then th there is a happy end for you can see them when when they come and visit me, and, and Harriet is eighteen, and, and and my daughter is. So I I I, I have to uh, I have to say it, it's it's a, it's a happy it's a happy ending. Taking those photos gave me maybe, maybe in fact, a couple of hundred. I, I developed them with Antonio Stasio. He had this old machine. Beautiful prints, really shiny. Lost in, in the book because it's, well, it's, it's, it's published by Julian Dahl and I, it's okay. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's, it's not journal, it's not just a Fleming, it's, it's, it's okay. But they were really shiny. I said to Antonio, I want, I want, I want the picture to shine. So the original, which I have, is, is, is my favorite. Uh, then I, I, I had learned from writing, you have to have a good first sentence. Should hit you. Should hit you the first, first sentence. The first sentence. So I, I, I was very, I laid all, uh, on, my, uh, on my floor, the photographs that I wanted. Maybe it was 100 and I took away some. And then, then I found the, the first the first photo, which is of my my daughter in black and white, 
and she's like this to the whole project. Don't take photos of us. I mean, be a father. And at, at one point she told me, I was trying to be a mother. So I, I, I was really, I was, I was cooking, I was washing, I was cleaning things, I was clean, constantly cleaning the house. And, and she said to me, please, don't, try to be a father. Yeah, yeah okay, I, I, <laughs> what do fathers do? I was, I was, it was really, I, my nail, I, my hair, it all, I was talking with a little bit uh, voice like this, and, and, and people said to me, they talked to me like a, like a mother, my neighbors, and, and they, they, completely different. How are your child, children today? And, and, and they eat too little fish. Yeah, you know, the, the local uh, uh, grocer, uh, he, he told me, I noticed you, you, you don't buy fish. They were very concerned of how, of how I s <laughs> managed to have uh, my daughters. The first sentence, important. What you also learn from poetry is that both pages in a book is sacred. You don't think of it in a novel because you, it's just text. But, but in poetry, this page all, always communicate with the other side. So this I was very, very, very uh, conscious about. I wanted to have the left side in communication with the right. So you could read the whole thing without a text because it has a first sentence and then it develops I, I spent a lot of time doing this, so so you could, you should read it because, because my first intention was no text. Let 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 me show. Uh, I, I can make a photo book, no text. I started collecting photo books, I, especially in Angoldin, uh, the Ballad of Sexual uh, Independency. No no words. Johan Engström that I communicated with. No words. I, I like that. Only pictures. But I am a writer. And when, when I had, had sorted out the photos, they, they, I, I had the text. They, they were, I said, okay, I want, I want illustrated. I would do as a Danish poet, Klaus Höck, I would make different lines. So there is one photo line that, that you can perfectly well read just for the photos. And then there is the text line. And, and they, don't, they don't always communicate. I, 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 it took really, don't write text in a photo book, please. Uh, but, but I had to do it. And, and um, I, 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 I think they're quite good. As, as, so if you, if, you, it, it, if you forget the photos and just read it, it's, it's, it's a book in itself. Then, then, Time. It's a book. You, you tell me when uh, time. I, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a book about a writer being alone with two children. But it's also a book about writing. Writing. The, the special thing about writing is that you have to find places to write. This is. This is. I don't have a computer. I I, I write on a typewriter. And I, I and I at first I, I write my hand. Often, very often, I write in the dark. It's, it's interesting. I don't see what I write. You can't do that on, on, on these things. You, you, I write, uh, but you have to find places. This is maybe a romantic idea, but if you read Rilke, he was, he was writing his, his best poem, uh, and then he stopped. And he searched, searched for the next 10 years for the right place to, to and it was the du Duino uh, castle that he found. And, and then he, during only a week, he wrote a masterpiece because of the place. I, honestly, when, when, when I see pictures of, of, of writers sitting in front of a computer under uh, in, that, in, the, in the bedroom of the children or something like that, I thought, please, please. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, I don't care. I don't care. But I wanted to create it the space for, for, for writing. So this is what I have documented, all, all the writing places, because they have this um, yeah, beauty. I think they have a beauty. If you find the right places, the right table, the window, 
Sometimes in Paris, you can sit in the window, you can even smoke. You can, you know, I, I rented rooms. When I come to a hotel, I ask for, to see maybe five or six rooms. I, I don't check in uh, in a hotel and, and accept the room. First, I have to find a very special hotel, old, old, cheap. Then I have to, to, to I, 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 it's like, this room, yeah, this, uh, this, this is the room. You, then you take the table to, to the window, and in Paris you can you can sit like this, and I didn't take photographs from 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 the streets. I took the rooms, so it's a it's a document of of, of all the different rooms I had uh, during travels when when the girls were were grown up. So I wanted the film, I I, I because I, I it's 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 a uh, I wanted to have this idea of, of, of handcraft. So I'm very happy that there are still people developing films and, 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 and putting them together. And, and, and it was really uh, interesting to try to make the genre a photo book. So I studied for, for several years the photo book and I, I still think it's... It's one of the most fascinating genres that, uh, that I know. I, I really love it. So when I saw yours and, and, and yours, I was, I, was I, 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 this is, this is something I want to, 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 to see and to, to look at. I will be short, so I'm, I'm really finished. Thank you a lot. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. So now we have. 10 minutes break and we are coming here exactly at six for the third panel about public space.